your team give you what you asked for today? Yes, a good response today. Uh, we've been appealing to them to please the fans and get a home win. <coughs> we didn't play as well as today as we played in the three nothing nothing games, and I really mean that. I mean the games against the uh, Ross County where it was nothing nothing Hearts, and who's the other one? St Mirren. We played better in each of these three matches, but we didn't get a break. Today we got the goals, and uh, I think you know although we didn't play as well as we have done. I think we squeezed enough out of the team to win the match, deservedly. I hope so, yeah, we're not uh, going to shout from the rooftops, but we've, we've gone nine games without losing, which is good, but uh, five of them were draws, and that's what I was complaining to the team about draws, and I was saying to them at half-time, go out there imagining you're a goal down, not, and not accepting a draw. So I think you saw the urgency in the second half to try and get a victory for the fans. And there you had McGuinness again being an influential character there. Yeah, he's a very powerful guy, influential, yeah. He suffered in midweek from a calf strain. So he and the two wingers were struggling a bit to confirm their fitness for today. Well, Johnny Hayes was unfit and we tried we Ryan and they lasted an hour. Uh, the other one was Josh. We didn't say anything about Josh had a, a calf which was very, very tight and we might have been able to start with him if we had to. But we've got a solid pool of players here. We can manage to compete with a player or two short and that's good. Is, is he gonna is he gonna cause you a nice problem now, do you think, where he's playing? I've got a major selection problem you now. Have to play him because of, because of how, how useful he is. The park as well. Yeah, well, he, McGuinness can play at full back very well, he can play up front very well. I haven't seen him, but they say he started as a goalkeeper, so I haven't seen that, but uh, a few shots in training. But he's versatile, that's good. But the, the two wingers been out today, well, at the end of the game, uh, if they're fit for next week, I've got a tremendously pleasant selection problem because they've been setting us a light in the earlier games. Uh, but now McGinnis fit, he gives us another dimension too with a bit of pace and he's got to, an eye for a goal, works hard. So it's a pleasant problem to have now. Uh, Do you think that Ryan Fraser gets quite a, a lot of treatment off of the He does, but I thought, I thought the referee handled it sensibly and well, you know, yeah. and uh, I think Callum Murray's outstanding as a referee. And they handled that situation well, and I thought that it's not it's impertinent of me to say talk about another team, but the manager handled it well too. He brought on the big fella, Mick Niven, is it? Uh, which was, you know, what I would have done, what anybody would have done. Yes. You notice him today, he wasn't taking men on. I said to him, look, just they're expecting you to beat them. And you've got a slight hamstring, just cross the ball. So he must have put six great balls in in the first mm -hmm. half without trying to beat the defender. So he's an intelligent wee guy and responds wonderfully well to to the advice that he, he gets. He must be quite pleased with the turn again for Gavin Ray. Yes, excellent. Yeah, Gavin, he's good for a goal. He's in the box. Gavin and uh, Stephen Hughes was the one who was chasing the game in the first half. Just. Shortly after half time, we changed it and said, Stephen, you sit there and save your legs and let Gavin chase. And within a minute, of, <laughs> you know, it's one of those uh, fortunate tactical changes or positional changes. Uh, and within a minute of him becoming the fo more forward midfield player, he scored. So it was a, a master stroke. <laughs> you, know, you know that. I'll never forget that. Okay, it's another story. It's, 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 a, it's a John Lambie story I was going to tell you about a master stroke. <laughs> John, John, no, you don't want another one. I'll tell you that some other time. <laughs> no, uh, please, for the, the, the support here has been patient and very loyal and <coughs> tremendous for Aberdeen. And I would like you to, if you don't mind, acknowledging the support that we get. And uh, when we get a result like that, it's... Uh, very pleasing for them after the loyalty that they've shown. Have you changed any of your 
targets for the team? Is there no, we don't have targets. We just want to do as well as we can. I'm not saying we've got to be here, there or everywhere. No, that's, you get egg in your face if you set targets. You know, and then you failed if you don't attain your target. The target's to do as well as we can in every competition. And we're lucky when the last day of the cup and they were still competing in the, in the league.